I'm starting to do a little bit of test fitting of the 1.8 turbo engine in the 944 chassis here. Uh, I have it in about the position that I want. Uh, I think that's going to be about the right height. I have it on this um, um, table, uh, like a Harbor Freight um, engine stand table thing that I can raise and lower hydraulically, hydraulic table. I have it at the angle that I think I want, which is again canted 18 degrees to the passenger side, which is the angle that uh, um, that VW and Audi use. The, that's the angle it is in the Passat and the A4. Um, I have it spaced away from the bell housing, the amount that I think that I want, um, but I'm still trying to figure that out. A few things that I've noticed right offhand is that the um, oil filter housing mount where it goes off there uh, it looks like there's not enough room for the filter next to the firewall and I'm gonna have to kind of tuck the these brake lines and the fuel lines back against the chassis a little bit better um, and then the other thing I've discovered is that the I would really like to utilize the uh, the factory water pump <clears throat> I think that's going to just be uh, a, an easier solution than doing an electric water pump and making, you know, block off plate and fittings for the engine and all of that. Uh, the water pump has the thermostat housing built in and it's, uh, you know, kind of a, a two loop system where it circulates just in the, from the head to the block. So this is um, the inlet port that comes back from the, the head and that's, that's your suction. Um, and then it feeds into the block right right under the alternator bracket there. Um, and then when the thermostat starts opening up, it starts uh, pulling um, cool water from the radiator through this, uh, this input flange, which um, uh, the thermostat goes in there. This goes on the bottom of the water pump, kind of a, about like that but you can see that the steering shaft is in the way from, from getting it in place. So uh, I'm gonna try to make an adapter that will fit with the steering shaft. And um, to, to do that, I'm gonna try to mount this flange in a more upright position uh, up here. So if I can do that, that gives me about, I don't know, an inch or so of, of clearance underneath there in the, uh, in the steering shaft. So that's what I'm trying to figure out how to solve right now. So using Fusion 360 by AutoCAD or Autodesk, um, I've created a model of something that might work for my uh, for my th to relocate that uh, the thermostat housing and that inlet. So this is a two-part shell that the blue part and the red part would be made out of aluminum and this side would mount to the water pump and then the, the, the housing with the, the nipple for the radiator hose would mount to that side. So I thought I would just take a moment and show you guys kind of how I created this. So one cool thing with Fusion 360 is you can um, you have like kind of a, a tree structure, right? So I was able to start with um, with a sketch of kind of the, the profile or the outline that I wanted to use. And then from that sketch, I was able to then create a, there we go. I was able to then create um, kind of a, a base solid. <clears throat> and then I uh, was able to, to build up the, kind of the flange and so this flange is actually what holds the thermostat it's, there's an o-ring that goes around here and this holds the thermostat into the water pump housing and then I was able to create kind of a pocket or channel on the back side and then I created the opening for the uh, where the housing where the plastic parts gonna connect to and then I created a little bit of extra material to, to house that, again with a step, so I can have another O-ring to seal it. And then um, just to kind of smooth things out and make it pretty, I added uh, some 
radiuses to the uh, to the inside here for water flow. Whether or not the radiuses can be machined that easily, I don't know. If I have to omit them, I think that'll be fine. And so then using uh, this shape, I was then able to create the kind of the start of the next next part of the next component. And then I was able to seal it off, make it a little bit taller. So you can see it's got my pocket in there. And then I also uh, put a radius on the inside of that, again, to make for kind of smooth, smooth water flow from, from one side to the other. And then uh, let me hide the top half here. And then I added a, uh, an O-ring groove, a channel around it, so that I could um, seal the two halves. And uh, if you notice on this bottom part, these two holes are a little bit smaller. Those will be tapped, those will be threaded to hold the plastic housing down and hold this together, and then bolts will come through this side to hold it onto the, the water pump. And then, uh, and that's it all together. So, there you have it. So I've sent those files to my MakerBot Replicator 2, I guess kind of old school in this day and age, and you can see it at work here. So the one with the, the top piece is actually on the on the back side. Let me just be able to show. And the one towards the front is the, is going to be the bottom piece. This will let me kind of test fit it and make sure that I have clearance for everything. I guess it really confuses the focusing a lot with that part moving around. So I did have to trim away a little bit of the material on the inboard side to get it to fit, so I'll have to make a little bit of a modification to the CAD file. But in general, I'm very pleased. So it's bolted up to the, uh, the water pump, and if I can get the camera low enough, you can see, let's see, there's a wire here. You can see that there's a, a fair amount of clearance there with the, the steering shaft. Not a lot, but enough. So at some point I'll have to put a power rack in and make sure there's clearance for the power rack as well. But uh, I think I've got a, a successful idea here that is going to allow me to use the factory water pump and um, just to reroute the, the plumbing for it.